Hello friends I am Muskan I hope you all are doing well Today we will learn about react native async storage React native async storage allow us to persist data in our application even after it's been shut down and relaunched uh, it basically means that if a user has logged in and they reopening application then they already logged in there they don't have to log in again and again so in this video i'm going to get you through installing and using async storage so first step for installation is we have to install react native async storage with npm and second we have to import async storage with the react native async store package and then we will store data with set item which we will get from async storage this is the function for set item in the store so set item is used both to the add new data item when no data for given key exist and to modify existing item when we previously save some data so for storing string value here is the code you can see and we will check it out in the application as well for reading data from async storage we will use get item uh, so get item returns a promise that e either resolve to stored value when data is found for given key so here you can see the Uh, get item example code here we have to use dot get item from async storage and then we have to give input parameter as a key and then it will return a value which we are storing in async store so first thing we are going to do is install async storage with npm i am installing async storage with npm it will take some time uh, maybe after installing you have to reinstall application so yeah now it's done uh, now i'm going to import async storage from the library and i'm going to add a button for get async store data I have already designed UI. You can check source code uh, on GitHub with the link which I mentioned in description. So I have added button here. Now I'm gonna add on submit on login. So for that I have to create a function uh, which is named as on submit, and I will add this on submit button on login. now i'm going to create set store function in which i will store data in async store so i have added this in try i am adding uh, async storage which i import from the library and async storage has a function named dot set item which will set our data in the storage and then set item uh, in set item we will need a key as a first argument which we are going to store in storage and the second argument will be the value of that key now i am adding alert here in alert i am going to show success message for store data in storage and then at last i will handle error in catch Now I'm gonna uh, use store data on submit, and uh, store data will need one input parameter. So I'm gonna give a value in async storage for username. In my case, it is username. I want to save username in storage. So yeah, uh, now I am going to test it. So when I'm adding username here. if it's muskan and password is and when i am clicking on login i am getting alert from store that username saved successfully in store 
now we have to get data from store so i'm gonna uh, create a function for get storage i have added try catch here and in try i will uh, add a value and in this value i will store um, value which i will get from async store dot get item in get item i have to provide the key which is username in my case now i am gonna alert the value which i am getting from the storage so first i am checking if value is not null then i am adding welcome message and the value which will be the username which I am I will get from async storage with this uh, get item function so let's uh, and then I will uh, handle error in catch now I am gonna use get store data function uh, on get store data button so I will add on press here and I will call I'm gonna call get store data let's save it and check it out now i have to get the username from store so when i am clicking on get store data this will call get store data function and in this uh, this will call async store dot get item which will pick a item so let's try this when i'm clicking on get store data you can see here welcome muskan Muskan is the username which we are getting from store through get item function. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like my work, please do like, share, and subscribe.